Fuck, they're behind us. Contact left. We're getting suppressed in here. Yeah, I can only see one. So is it just a uh, random left. marksman not spawned in right now, just fucking it up for everyone else? So there I was, just screwing around, minding my own business, you know, getting bored. Thought I'd take a look at the Ready or Not Discord. And then all of a sudden, I had seen a post that was crediting me on the Ready or Not's Reddit. So I thought I'd just take a gander to see what was up. Turns out that a person had taken a screenshot from one of my old videos, the Why I Left Siege video, which you can watch here. The part that he had taken a screenshot of was a part of the video that I had considered certain games as arcadey and others that were tactical. Now the picture that's shown here isn't what I think today, but this kind of got me thinking. What is a tactical game? I think the word tactical can mean different things depending on who you ask. I've seen this word used for games like Rainbow Six Siege, PUBG, Battlefield 5. Games that I would normally not consider tactical, but I guess it depends on who you ask. If you're asking me what my criteria is, then I will tell you that based on how goofy a game is, I will not consider it as a tactical game. Let me put it in better terms. If I am able to get a trick shot in a match, then I will consider your game as arcadey and not really tactical. You could argue and say that the game has pro strats and I won't disagree with you, but I will tell you that games have to have more than just pro strats to win a game to meet my criteria to be tactical. But we live in a day and age where games are evolving back and forth, so tactical can mean a bunch of different things to a bunch of different people. Just to be clear, I'm not saying that any of these games that I mentioned are bad. In fact, if you take the time to play them yourself, you could find yourself having fun. I'm just saying that I don't consider them as tactical. And now I am going to show a chart of what I think is tactical and what I think is arcadey. Now, based on how much teamwork and communication and the level of realism that is portrayed throughout these games, this is just how I look at them. Most tactical on a large scale, I guess would have to go to Arma 3. In Arma 3, there is a lot of planning, teamwork, communication. There's just a lot of things that you can do in Arma 3. If there's anything that I would say that's really arcadey in Arma 3, then I guess it would be the fact that you can go third person. That's like the only arcadey thing that I could really think of for that particular game. Up next, I have tactical on a large scale i put in squad postscriptum hella loose and these are really the only games that are basically in the same genre where they uh, they're essentially have the same game mechanics but all of them require teamwork communication and they all have a sense of realism and historical accuracy but one thing that you could say about them is that you can't win a game unless your team is actually with you working with you to get objectives so yeah the next one that i have here is historical accuracy and i have verdun and war of rights Verdun doesn't require too much teamwork because most of the time you're just inside of a trench shooting at people and then uh, the screen will tell you when you need to push up into the next trench and if you fail then the enemy will pop up and try to push on your trench and it just basically keeps going back and forth until one gets further down the road or the other one you know. War of Rights does require some teamwork. I know that there's a mechanic where you have to stick with your team in order for you to actually have better accuracy, uh, your shots will go better, you have to march in lines, stay in lines, listen to your commander when he tells you to fire. So War of Rise requires a little more teamwork, but it does have uh, historical accuracy in it when you're fighting on certain parts of these battlefields. And that's all I really got to say about that. Up next, I have Tactical on a smaller scale, and this usually revolves around CQB. For that list, I have Ready or Not, Ground Branch, and Blister. Ready or not, if it's anything like SWAT 4, you have to take your time. You have to make sure you know what's on the other side of that door before you decide to breach. So you're going to use either like a drone that flies up into the air to see what's over there, or you're going to use the little opti one that goes underneath the door. But I'm just talking about the co-op side. There's also a multiplayer that's completely different from that. So there's a lot of tactics that go into that. Ground Branch is akin to the original Rainbow Six 3 and Recon series from the originals. So that obviously has more tactics than... Uh, 
your average Rainbow Six Siege today. Those of you that don't know what Blister is, it's basically a first person single player shooter and it has a bunch of different ways that you could take down enemies. The way that the mechanics work in Blister are a lot like door kickers where you can command your troops to go to specific areas to get the job done. I originally wanted to put another list for Escape from Tarkov but then I realized that you could actually have a team if you decided to. So it's not necessarily a one person game but out of all of them i think escape from tarkov is probably the most realistic just because of the amount of mechanics that you can do and it's probably the most close quarters that's really all i got to say about that let's move on to arcadia with a tactical element on a small scale and all i have here is rainbow six siege rainbow six siege was a fun game but it never really felt tactical to me like it was more on the arcade side i always called it like the hero shooter because you had to pick like certain characters in order to uh get into the game you know it has some elements of being tactical but it's not full on i think it mostly hovers around strategy by knowing the map that you're in but yeah that's all i really got to say about that up next i have arcadia with tactical elements on a large scale and i have world war 3 insurgency sandstorm and i thought about adding in battlefield 5 but i was just like i don't know it seems a little on the arcade side with not really any tactics but i think i yeah i'm gonna leave it off of this list world war 3 is a lot more on the arcade side but it does have some realistic things like bullet penetration uh tanks the guns themselves the way that you can customize them and all that. So I'll give them that. Insurgency Sandstorm, it really it really does play a lot like an arcade shooter, but there are a lot of tactical elements where your body can get mutilated, basically. And you can work with your team, but it's a little harder to do in that game when it's not really objective based. Arcade on a small scale, I have Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and that's just not really need to go any further with that one. That's basically the most arcade game you can get. Arcade on a large scale, I guess I would use Battlefield 5 just because of how goofy it looks. And then there's PUBG, which that's not even. Yeah. These are all just brief summaries of these games that I've experienced. I'd go in depth, but that, that'd just take a long time. And again, this does not mean that any of these games are bad, okay? I'm just saying that this is how I see them based on how I played them, you know? And you could completely disagree with me if you want to. It's all fine. Now, I know that there's more tactical games out there, but uh, I'm just thinking of all the ones that are like the modern games that we have right now to actually play. So I'm not going to include games like SWAT 4 and Rainbow Six 3, even though those are probably more tactical than some of these games that are listed here. So I guess I'm going to end the video with a couple of questions. What do you consider as tactical? Could it be gameplay? Maybe how authentic a game is? How would you define it? What games here, or if you want to add on to it, are the most tactical and least tactical? These are genuine thoughts that I have and I would really like to know. Well, I think this is the end of my video. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye